This is lesson 91 in the basic JavaScript section of Free Code Count. Today we're going to go over for loops. <clears throat> this lesson is titled Iterate with JavaScript for Loops. You can run the same code multiple times by using a loop. The most common type of JavaScript loop is called a for loop because it runs for a specific number of times. For loops are declared with three optional expressions separated by semicolons. And they show you here what a for loop looks like. These are the three expressions. First, initialization. Second, condition. Third, final expression. The initialization statement is executed one time only before the loop starts. It's typically used to define this and set up your loop variable. The condition statement is evaluated at the beginning of every loop iteration and will continue as long as it is evaluated to true. When condition is false at the start of the iteration, the loop will stop executing. This means if condition starts as false, your loop will never execute. The final expression is executed at the end of, the, of each loop iteration prior to the next condition check and is usually used to increment or decrement your loop counter. In the following example, we initialize with i is assigned 0 and iterate while our condition i is less than 5 is true. We'll increment i by 1 in each loop iteration with i++ plus plus as our final expression. So they show us here, they have a, a blank array, empty array, and they say 4, they initialize i to 0. As long as i is less than 5, i will keep increasing by 1. And then our array dot push i. Our array will now contain 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4. And again, this is because first we have an empty array, but in our for loop, we start at 0. So 0 is less than 5, which is true, so it will run this code. So it will push whatever i is, and i is 0 at that moment. So first we get a 0 inserted, but then it comes back into the loop. And this loop keeps going as long as it's true. Once this is false, it will stop. So next i becomes 1 because we increment i each time it loops through by 1. So now i is 1. Is 1 less than 5? It is less than 5. So we do the code inside here, which will push 1 this time into our array. So now we have 0, 1. Next time it comes through, i is 2. 2 is less than 5. So we run this code and now we push 2. And it keeps going all the way until 4. It does not do 5 because 5 is not less than 5. So this evaluates to false, so it never pushes 5. So instructions use a for loop to work to push the values 1 through 5 onto my array. Here's the example. They have our array, also an empty array, and they do a for loop through it, which starts at 0 and we'll go up to 4, the same as this did. So now we got to create a for loop, so we only change code below this line. And our for loop, to push the values 1 through 5 onto my array. So we would start with 1, because they want to push the values 1 through 5. So the first time through a loop, It'll be 1, 2, 3, 4, and we're going to actually want to, as long as i is less than 6, because we want to push the values 1 through 5. So 5 seems to me that it should be included, and we just keep incrementing each time through the loop. And we want to push, so we do my array dot push 
Yeah, we want to push high. And this should satisfy. We should be using a for loop for this. My array should equal one, two, three, four, and five. So that should work, and that should be it for this lesson.